Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video I'm going to talk about latching. I'll explain what is latching, why it is taken and what kind of types are there. I'll also talk about how latch contention happens and what factors impact latch contention. If you find this video useful, please do not forget to subscribe. Let's get started. Firstly, let's discuss about what is latching and why we need latching in SQL Server. We know that data rows in SQL Server are saved in 8 kilobyte object called pages. These pages are saved in MDF data files in disk. Now imagine a client is making an update query. As soon as this request comes to SQL Server, a thread is allocated in available CPU to open a session and serve this request. What does this thread do is first it finds the rows where update command is referencing, then finds a page where this row is located, right? So then it checks whether this page is in buffer pool or not. If the page is not in the buffer pool, it registered latch called page IO latch on this page and load this page to buffer pool. So here we can say latch is just a lock on data page. SQL Server ta is taking latch so that any other simultaneous thread in the system does not load the same page from disk. We can say just it is preventing a duplicate IO work, right? So page IO latch, uh, we can conclude as a latch type used while loading the page from disk to buffer with asynchronous IO. So our page is in the buffer pool. Next step is change data in this page. After loading the page to the buffer pool, SQL Server changes the latch type from page IO latch to page latch and updates the corresponding data in the page following the update command. So page latch here is being used to lock the page in memory to keep integrity of the data in the page. Due to this lock, other threads trying to access the same page at the same time cannot cause data corruption. So after changing the data, thread releases the latch quickly and sends back acknowledgement to client. There is also latch type called just the latch. The usage of this latch type is the same just to keep integrity of the data in the non-buffer memory. Okay, we were talking about buffer memory latch types. Latch, it is just the same with the same function only for non-buffer memory part. So we discussed about page latch, page IO latch and latch types and I showed how they keep integrity of the pages in memory. Now let's discuss quickly about latch modes. First one is KP. This lock type used to prevent other simultaneous threads from destroying the same page. Next one SH, this kind of latch is taken when reading a data page. Important point is multiple threads can simultaneously access a resource for reading under a shared latch. Okay. Then next one is UP, update latch, and uh, this is taken when updating a data page. This is compatible with SH and KP. And the next one is EX. This is very much exclusive latch, not compatible with any type. And uh, this kind of latch are taken when for example, page is completely being updated, uh, like uh, for example, data rows or metadata in the page is being updated. So we take this kind of latch in, in that cases. Last one is destroy latch, DT. And this must be acquired before destroying the contents of references structure, I mean, data pages. The summary of the compatibilities here, as you can see, for example, if the page has SH type latch, other simultaneous threads with KP, UP latch types can access the same page. So finally, I want to state a few comments about latch contention. We understood how latch is taken by threads, right? Now imagine there are several clients who are trying to update the same page at the same time. As a result, several threads are created for each connection session and each of these threads is trying to get page latch with EX mode, right? To get access to the same page. Since EX type or UP types are not compatible with each other, these new threads should wait until the page is released by earliest thread. When it is released, 
then they can access the page one by one. This type of wait for latch release causes latch contention. This table from Microsoft briefly describes the factors which often cause contention. Okay. So uh, we discuss about what is latching and they modes, also discuss about contention, where they come from. If you find this video useful, please do not forget to subscribe. Thank you for your time.